Hello, I'm James, and has anyone seen my balloons? I lost four of them at the birthday party. One was a poodle. No. Alien fleet or balloons? Not my main question. I want to know how people are just fine with a fighter pilot missing the first shot costing $400,000. That was an expensive oops, my finger slipped. The 400,000 sidewinded missile landed in a lake, obliterating 900 species of fish in the process. What sort of balloon was it? Was it a helium balloon? Was it so hilarious that he missed? Lovable Disney dancer turned knuckle dusting jewelry model. Jake Paul fought an actual boxer for the first time and lost. Is it over now? Jake Paul, YouTuber turned boxer to fight in MMA with Professional Fighters League. Oh, come on. Paul, who will compete in the PFL's new Super Fight series, mentioned Nate Diaz as a potential opponent for his debut. That would not go well. Sorry, no, do that. I know this is a tough sport, but if I can do it in boxing, I can do it in MMA. But you didn't do it in boxing. You fought retired MMA fighters with dodgy knees. And the first time you fought a granted, fairly inactive, but still 8-0 professional boxer, you lost. I for one hope that he goes back to his true talent. I'm desperate for a third series of Bizarre Fuck. I was on tenterhooks after the end of season two. In this week's Try Not To Laugh at Chris Harrier challenge. Try not to laugh Jim memes with Chris Harrier. Between the rods, bro. Anyway. King, I ordered steroids online. Let me explain. Please don't. So last year, you probably heard the hype around trochesterone and ectosterone. You missed my video then. Which are supplements derived from plants and fall under the category of ectosteroids. Which aren't actually steroids. Correct. But studies are showing that they can have similar benefits. One study from 2019. Including increased muscle mass and athletic performance. Unless it's the other study, because there aren't many, on ectosterone from 2006, which did not show positive contributions towards body composition when taking ecti. But they're not illegal and not banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency. Which is why a lot of people are calling this the natural steroid. I'm not. So what's the catch? It sounded way too good to be true. Because it is. All the benefits of steroids without any of the downsides. I had to find out for myself if it actually worked and after after trying it for a couple months, I was able to put on a few pounds of lean muscle mass and I did feel better in the gym. Well that's excellent, but it could be due to many variables such as perhaps he trained hard, perhaps it was his nutrition, perhaps it was a multitude of other factors, perhaps it was the ecti, but we don't know because again this is anecdotal, this is not information or data being projected in a controlled environment that we can take with confidence. But these benefits aren't going to be the same magnitude of real steroids. I would say that the gains that I made taking ecti builder are more comparable to a slight better creatine. And so I'm not sure how you can come to that conclusion because firstly, well, there's very little evidence, human evidence when it comes to ecti, but also ecti and creatine have different mechanisms. If you think about creatine, which ironically is one of the best researched supplements we have and with strong confidence we can say it works effectively it's more related to the energy production value of it ADP, adenosine diphosphate to adenosine triphosphate, whereas ecti, this natty roid, is a different mechanism. So I don't think you can necessarily compare the two. That's like comparing George Lucas Star Wars to whatever the hell Disney are doing. It was too late. Different ball game, mate. Prices have gone way down since ecti steroids have first been hyped. Were people really paying $600 for a bottle? That genuinely makes me sad. I didn't know that. So if you have the money and you really want to optimize your training as a natural, I say go for it. But if not, it's not the end of the world. And I link the ones that I use in my profile, King. Talking of Kings, thumbnail of the year award goes to what is a natty cycle administered by Dr. Tony Hughes, you may ask. So Tony Huge is pretty neat on a Natty Plus cycle, a stack of powerful anabolic substances that are relatively healthy and won't suppress my natural hormone levels. Definitely not a sales funnel by collaborating with Connor Murphy. Some people may consider these substances not natural, but I don't care about labels, nor do I subscribe to the false dichotomy of natural versus not. I care about developing the aesthetics of my physique in an efficient, balanced, and healthy way. So pause this video to see the list of substances I'll be consuming sorted from most natural to least natural and follow my journey to see how my physique progresses. Did he film that on the toilet and people say the newspapers are dead? No, seriously, what we need is another anecdotal Tekestra video. And so my vote for the worst video of 2023 goes to the Chuckle Brothers. Doses of both blue and black ox by hand. <laughs> And so my vote for the worst video of 2023 goes to the Chuckle Brothers. So there's so many useless supplements there. I've broken down many of these using an evidence base, for example, arachidonic acid, to show how data is being creatively communicated, let's say. See the list of substances I'll be consuming sorted from most natural to least natural. I mean, he can do whatever he likes, but this isn't health and fitness. This is fitness content with a bottom line. Discount code Connor 300. And he doesn't need a single one of those supplements to be aesthetic. He knows how to train. He's done it for many years. This is influencer marketing and sales. Don't be this guy. He could have brought it to my attention without harassing me and being rude. Hashtag viral. EOV, you're recording your workout and a guy version of a Karen gets mad. The camera is pointing at him when I've been there recording before he got there.
exactly. You just preloaded, ready for the lift and everything. No, I'm allowed to make fun of nonsense. It's on my CV. That is not how they used to teach preloading in exercise science textbooks. Let's just say that muscle activation has taken on a new meaning. I never thought when I was 10 years old and Nick was giving us unpopular kids wedgies in the playground that in the future people will do it to themselves for popularity. We clearly didn't know how good we had it. Don't be this guy. He could have brought it to my attention without harassing me and being rude. No, fair point in some ways. He didn't need to be all wired and red faced. I just think that people are getting fed up now of going to the gym to exercise and becoming part of a dystopian gym reality show. And once they get past the first boss, they end up with what I can only term as a really annoying level. Not even lat syndrome gives you the right to be so confrontational. Um, no, no, you slam it. No, no, we can't. We can't have it go like that. You, okay. You can't, can't drop it on the desk. Can't do that. No, not like that. No. I'll get the arm. Yeah, buddy, when you get to that bit of the deadlift, the eccentric, lowering it, the negative, definitely lower it slowly to the floor, then head straight to the physiotherapist room. This is not a real platform platform. <coughs> okay, I'm trying to help you guys out. Yeah, I got you. Okay. I'm done anyway. And so the lifter was so polite and reasonable. Angry dad who said it wasn't a lifting platform because he has eyesight like me. And he's going to tell the boss on you because it's not fair, mummy. I'll get the arm needs to stop whining at people deadlifting and take his hands off his son's bar. Zero indeed. Brett Maverick, who has made a career trying to flog you jaw exercises, has now definitely not scientifically formulated Brett's magic chewing gum with an inspirational backstory. No one believed in my idea, until finally I met some crazy Germans who saw the vision. Unbelievably, this isn't a comedy sketch. I don't know where to start. And so the concept of chewing gum is not actually the worst idea, and far better than spending money on jaw exercises, but I'm still not sure if this is unintentional influence of comedy or real. Not even a pick of Homelander will make me fork out $76 on some G ginger and lime sounds delicious, overpriced, no evidence at all to support this particular product over regular chewing gum. But then again, there are loads of great reviews below his product for a different product called Facial Fitness, so I'm sold. Ah, here's why the gym does not matter. I'm tired of guys that are like, oh, you know, I'm going to the gym, I'm trying to get fit. I feel like I have a pretty decent tone. To be fair, I've got a pretty decent tone also, HP Wireless. I don't need to go to the gym, eh, because you pull up to the gym, making less than 10K a month, pulling up in your bull Corolla, and I pull up in my McLaren. It's not even a contest, dude, no one gives a about your muscles. Most of the guys that go to the gym, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're stupid. All that pre-workout that you're taking is making you more stupider. All that pre-workout is making you more stupider, indeed. No, even if TikTok Alpha Man could understand the intellectual challenge of using the word more with stupid, I just love the fact that he's recording his provocation video topless with a mic masking tape to his pecs. Are you wearing a wire? Making you more stupider. And so of course resistance training can take many forms in terms of the protocol and also the goals that someone wants to achieve. But nonetheless, it's really important for our overall health and fitness, not just in terms of muscle strength and muscle size and joint strength and stability, in a whole list of factors, we can also put in perhaps mental health and mood. It's very difficult to say that certain exercise can prevent injury or prevent health issues, but it can certainly contribute to reducing the risk of many, many ailments. Unless you do it like this, in which case it's just good for middle fingering people during rush hour. See you soon.